Oh, looking cute, girl. Oh, thanks. I wanted a look that says I'm ready to take on the school. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dallas went to go find the key. Hey. Has the cancer sped to your lungs? No. I'm still in remission. I was just hoping that you guys would stop kissing long enough for me to get some hugs. Bring it in. <laughs> no key? Only the key to my heart. Oh, we can put that one back on your keychain, bud. What are we gonna do? People are gonna be here in two hours, and we need to get ready for the welcome back assembly. Hey, guys. Why do you all look so surprised? <laughs> it's 6 a.m. This is school. You're Drew Torres. Student Council President Drew Torres. And uh, I couldn't sleep, so instead of just staring at the ceiling, I decided to come here. Anyway, got the Welcome Back Assembly all set up. Come on. What? Sound system cranked. Me? Video feed ready. Uh-huh. Uh, smoke machine. Light show on. Wow, you really went all out. I wanted to make our senior year the best one DeGrasse has ever had. You guys in? Yeah! Yeah! Hey, hey, Becky. Hi. Um, fun summer? Oh. Sorry. It must be nice, having your crush lined up for the year. I told you, I'm focusing on music, not boys. Is that why you got contacts? So you could exchange flirty glances at your cello? Shut up. Hey, I... <laughs> Jeez, Chu, you were here for an entire year. It's like none of these girls even know you. Trust me, none of these girls are worth knowing. I don't know. There might be one or two worth checking out. Welcome to the best year of your life. I'm here to introduce to you the team that's going to bring you the ruckus, your student council. First up, your athletic rep, the man with the muscles, Mike Dallas. She's smart and sassy. Your social coordinator, Ali Benjari. He puts the fun into financial statements. Treasurer, Connor Delorier. She'll take minutes and your heart. Secretary, Jenna Middleton. Next up, she is my partner in crime. The voice in the back of my mind, her new hairdo, sure is fine. Your vice president, Claire Edwards. Now, uh, finally, finally, he's handsome. He's funny. Well, he's me. Your student council president, Drew Torres. Welcome to Degrassi, everybody. Today is a fresh start for everyone, including me. This year is about fun, old friends, new developments, about... Um, Drew. Is he okay? Drew. Whatever it takes. Well, that was an assembly no one will ever forget. I hope yours okay. Well, after he came to, I saw seven grade nine girls offer to carry his books, so I think he'll be fine. <laughs> well, until his fiance comes home from university for a visit. <laughs> See you physics fourth period. Um, I could switch into that. But you know nothing about physics. Yeah, but wouldn't it be fun to have all our classes together? But it's physics. It's already fun. <laughs> oh, you guys only have three classes together? Must be like an ocean apart. <sighs> You're still thinking about Leo? He's in France. Let him rot there. Come on, Leo's a good guy. Well, she can't be thinking about him that hard if she's already got a date tonight. Well, geez, you move fast. It's not even first period. With who? She won't tell me. I just don't want to say anything until I know for sure that it's going to work out. So it's Dallas. Not Dallas. It's got to be Dallas. About time. Yeah, you two will make the cutest babies. Okay, just let me go on my date, and if there's fireworks, then you guys can meet them. 
Okay, but if uh, Dallas is in my next class, can I meet him then? Ugh. I told you, I'm fine. Dude, you collapsed on stage. The nurse took my blood pressure, did her little test or whatever. I passed. I'm, what do you want from me? You also said you've been sleeping. So? Dude, can we just get the school year started? We're, we're going to be late for math. Hold up. You can pretend for everyone else, but you can't pretend for me. What? I could like math. I'm thinking about Adam? I'm trying not to. But you got to sleep. Have you been taking those pills the doctor gave you? The Zolpidum or whatever it's called? No, I don't need them. You need something. Yeah, I, I need this. School, student council, stuff to keep me busy, maybe tire me out. For the first time since Adam died, I'm excited about stuff again. Set math class, right? You're crazy. <laughs> so we Rebus, a real life celebrity in our school. <laughs> I hope you're not like Gatsby Garcia in real life. You watch West Drive? Oh, uh, no, no. My son, he loves the show. I'm gonna go set you up. I'll be right back. Can we leave now? We talked about this. And I believe I said I don't want to go to that steaming hellhole. You're 15. If you're not working, you have to be in school. This one? I sent you to Paris this summer so you could get to know some friends who go here. What if everyone finds out why I got kicked off the show? Honey, they won't. Let's call this party to order. All right. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Because it's okay if you're not. You've been through a lot with Adam and... Oh, I'm fine. You know, I talked to Simpson. He said that we could split the workload if it's too Claire, much... Claire, I'm the president. I can do this, right? S start. Okay. Um, but we're still short a few reps. Drama, Knitting Society, Outdoors Club. Just uh, bang the gavel. Hey, I'd like to call to order the first official meeting of this year's student council. And I would like to get right to the good stuff, planning the first event of the year. We need to do something big, something special. I was thinking maybe a dance? Second that. What if we did something to remember Adam? Yeah, like a no-texting and driving campaign. The first event of the year? All people can learn from the tragedy. Adam would have wanted this. No, he wouldn't have. He would have wanted a Degrassi Beach bash dance. <laughs> Let's put it to the people. Shall we prepare presentations and take a vote at tomorrow's meeting? Yeah, I guess. Great. Um, next order of business. Should we use the grant money to revive Degrassi TV? Yeah, but what? I liked her and she got mad at us and us to Oh, my God. <laughs> Maya, since I'm uh, new here, got any good girlfriend recommendations? You really think I'd stick you on some poor, unsuspecting girl? You mean some extremely lucky all oh, like Zoe, who you made out with all over France and the drops, like a hot... What's French for potato? Yeah, Zoe was a mistake. But, um, it's all behind me now. Literally. What? Surprise. You're at Degrassi now? Um, this is awkward, right? Yep, totally awkward. You're new, yes? This is the part of the class where we all sit down. Uh, actually, I think I forgot something in my locker, so I should go. The bell rang. You're mine now. I see you've got first day jitters. But I need to start this class, so just get over whatever boy drama this is, take a deep breath, chill out. Why don't you chill out? <sighs> that really is her go-to move, huh?
work. Fire muscle, booyah! Woo! Your face! All right, I'm going to bed. Oh, is it the victory dance? It's the 1 a.m., not okay? What? I just, I can't believe Claire proposed a texting and driving event instead of a dance. It's nice to know Adam's still on people's minds. It's not going to bring him back, so why do we have to dwell? You know what? I'll just try and get some sleep. You gonna crash here again? With the TV on, yeah? Night. You are glowing. And wearing a little extra makeup. What are you hiding? Nothing. When do we get to know what kind of a kisser Mike Dallas is? Um, it wasn't Dallas. It was Leo. <laughs> no. Yeah, he flew in yesterday. He missed me. Isn't that so romantic? Try insane. This guy can't be trusted. That's a little harsh. No, Leo hurt her, Claire. Physically, I saw the bruises. It was nothing. We got into a fight, they got heated, but I, I grabbed him too. Still, Allie, that's a warning sign. Oh, like driving a car into a wall? Or bringing a gun to school? Or, you know, stealing underwear? Your boyfriends aren't saints. So he came here just for you without a plan? He came here because he loved me. Why are you guys trying to ruin that? Today we start unit one, the nature of politics. But Drew Torres, you'll be missing out. You're wanted in the office. Where's Drew? Morning, B. Hey, I didn't expect you to answer. So then why'd you call? To leave you a sexy message. Shouldn't you be in class? It's nine. You know what this means? Detention. No. No, I finally slept for like hours. Yeah, you fell asleep talking to me on the phone last night. We talked last night? At like 4 a.m. You were groggy. It was pretty cute. Whatever, I'm just glad I finally got some rest. I feel like a new man. I should probably get to class. Feel free to call back and leave that sexy message. I don't know how you behave on a TV show, Zoe, but what you did yesterday has no place in the real world. Can't you just transfer me out of that class? You assaulted a teacher. We may be talking about expulsion. Zoe has a learning disability. Mom! Dyslexia. Is this true? Absolutely. Zoe, will you require extra help with tests? No, I will not. Can I have a minute with my daughter alone? I guess so. How could you tell him that? I just saved your ass. He was gonna kick you out. I wanted him to. Can't you just homeschool me? No. Until you get another job, I have to get one of my own. I'm not supposed to be here. I know. You should still be on West Drive. But you got yourself fired. Nobody wants to work with you now. So do whatever it takes to make this work. What is going on? Just catching some rays during my spare. Am I still dreaming? Not cool, Drew. If you didn't want to do the texting and driving campaign because of Adam, you could have said so. Fine, Claire. Then I'm officially mad that you ordered this stuff without me. What? I, I didn't order any of this stuff. This invoice says otherwise. Let's find out who did order all this stuff. Can you ask them to get us a mini wave pool too? Yeah. Dude, Claire is not happy. 
I know. It's hilarious. So did you order all the sand? <laughs> what? No, you did. Last night? You don't remember? No. We were banging around the kitchen at like 3 a.m., so I got up. You were eating ice cream and placing an order online. What? All right, Bianca said that I talked to her, too. I took those sleeping pills. I thought I slept so well. Dude, those pills work for some people, but other people get crazy side effects. So I ordered the sand. Big time. Because you really wanted that beach dance. So what do I do? Pray for a miracle and hope you win the voter council. I think there might be a way. Is anyone going to the fashion club meeting tonight? No, I'm going to work on a song. I'm thinking of starting a new band. No, don't look at me. The only thing I do is basketball. is because my dad makes me. Cool. I could play basketball. Seriously? My brother played. I could do it. I have a killer junk shot. You mean jump shot? <laughs> Seriously? Uh, hey, do they have cheerleaders here? Maybe I could cheer you guys on. Let me put this in TB terms so you'll understand. I don't do reruns, especially with mean girls like you. <laughs> Screw you. Hey. Hey. I need you. I'm sorry. For a student council meeting, like, now, can you? Um, what do I have to do? I'll explain on the way. <laughs> Whoa. This is the coffee you pine for in France. <laughs> what are we doing here? I have no idea. I should have ordered the espresso. I mean, with us. You coming here, I mean, what's, what's our game plan? To take a chance on love. OK, but what happens when you leave? I won't. I can stay with my godfather as long as I want. But what are you going to do? I, I have school and a family. I've looked into transferring to TU. They have a great biology department. And I'll get a job. Where? Here. Yeah. They need someone to teach them how to make coffee. We can do this, Annie. OK, and um, what happens if you get jealous again? I mean, last time you hurt me. I didn't mean to. You left bruises. I overreacted. I lost control. It won't happen again. I don't want to be that person. And I really hoped you could help me be better. I have to get back to school, student council meeting. No, stay here with me. And I'll stay here with you. <laughs> Did you sort out the sand? I thought we might have the vote first. We kind of already know how the vote's going to go, right? Do we? Why are there like 20 little girls here? These are the new council members. I filled some open positions. This is the drama rep and the outdoors club rep. No, you can't do that. You want me to turn away enthusiastic new council members? I'd like to call this meeting to order. First up, the vote on council's first event. Claire? I'd like to propose an anti-texting and driving campaign. We'll hang 4,000 cell phones in the foyer, one for every teen texting and driving death a year. All those in favor? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I propose a Degrassi Beach Bash dance. Sun, sand, and a fresh new start for everyone this year. All in favor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who's ready to party? What is this? It's a democracy. Well, if this is how you want to run council, you're on your own. Andrew, you better get some sleep because it's going to take a lot of energy to wrangle all these children. I think I'll sleep just fine. I hope so. Looks like we have a dance to plan. First things first. If we're going to pull this off, I'm going to need everyone's contact information. Feel free to call me anytime. Well, if you know anything about planning a dance, I definitely will. I don't yet, but I'm a fast learner. <laughs> Thank you.
is this? It's 4 a.m. Hey, cutie. How are you doing? Drew? Just wanted to call you and tell you how great you were. That it was perfect. Really? So happy you fell into my arms. Did I wake you? Not that you. Not that you need your beauty sleep here. You're already so pretty. You're the prettiest girl. You have really pretty eyes. Pretty everything. Whatever it takes I know I can make it through And if I hold out Make it through.